Jackson, somebody got a hand on him. We're going to say it was Red Bryant knocked him down with the right arm. He goes down, lost uh, about two. They'll spot it at the three. It's third down, 12. Two of seven on their third downs. They've got to get it out to their 16-yard line. As a snap, he'll throw it from his own end zone. He is throwing deep, and he is going to throw incomplete. Marquise Carpenter was there, along with the intended receiver, Josh Wheeler. Incomplete. Ought to get good field position after this punt. Let's see what happens. Line of scrimmage again is the three. Punts away. Here is Batson calling. Now he's going to tell everybody to get away. Oh, and it's going to get an Aggie roll. It's going to be killed at the 31-yard line. Good call by Batson to get away from it. It did bounce back in the Aggies' uh, direction, so it's a 29-yard punt, and the Aggies will have good field position, Dave. Uh, they'll start from their own 33. In an eye formation. And they just hand off, and they get it across the 30-yard line. And that on that carry will be Chris Alexander, and Dave, that's his first carry of the season. He has one reception for six yards. Javorski Lane is to the left of Stephen McGee. Slots both sides of the ball. Wants to throw it. He will. Caught at the 25-yard line. That will leave a shy of a first down by four. That ball caught by Riley. It's his third reception of the night. Big third down here for the Aggie offense. Shotgun with Goodson and Javorski Lane. And he just gave it to Lane. And Lane's got a big hole. He's going to go for a touchdown at the five. Touchdown Lane. 25 yards on a third down and four. Broke it off the right side. Well, it looks like it was the first part of the option, and it, did, it looked like Steven was going to keep it. But he gave it to Javorski, and Javorski broke outside, and nobody touched him after that. That should get this offense going as the Aggies take it 25 yards for the tying touchdown with the extra point. Lane is ninth touchdown of the season. Lane Newman is going to kick the extra point. He's three of three on his PATs for the year. Ty Branion will be the holder for this left-footed kicker. Waiting on the snap. It's down. It's up. And it is good. Texas A&M has taken the lead here. Or excuse me, has tied the game at seven with 9.37 to go here in the uh, second. Wishful thinking on my part. Zemanski about to kick off for Texas A&M. Their return men are standing at about their five. And it is about three yards deep, and they're going to get a return out to the 10, the 15. There's a little scene. He Good got lick. to the 17-yard line. Brock Newton just whammed him a good one and knocks him down. And they will be shy of the 20 on the return by Weldon Brown. Louisiana Tech the ball, first down and 10. The game tied at 7. Play action, champion throws, man wide open, but they close on him in a hurry. Melvin Bullock up ends the receiver, and I think that was Newman on that one. He got about four yards, maybe three to the 21-yard line, and he is knocked down right there. It'll be second down and seven coming up. Lone receiver on the right side. The right is the open side of the formation. They go without a tight end. Champion throws, he's hit. Oh, right between two Aggies, it looked like. Dodge or Melvin Bullet might have a chance at the interception. It goes incomplete. We were oh so close on that one. Third down, seven coming up. The ball at the Tech 21-yard line. Devin Gregg's back there. Marquise Carpenter is on the far side. Bullets over there. And our Keith Brown, who's made his presence felt tonight, is also in the lineup. Third down play. Ags are coming. They're going to set up a screen, and they throw it incomplete. High. There's a flag down. Screen right. And a flag goes down way back here from the secondary. It may have been a receiver down, I mean, a, a lineman downfield. I think that's going to be the call. Melvin Bullet went running back there. Yeah, there's a, there's a lineman downfield. That was a third down play. And now Randy Crystal has conferred with the gentleman. Defensive pass, offensive pass interference. Okay. <laughs> Melvin, Melvin, don't 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 plea your case until yeah. you find out who it's on. Yeah. We can get this ball again in good field position. Oh, they somebody they moved. moved. They moved. Yeah, one of their up backs moved. It'll cost them five. 
Cagle is standing back at the two. Outside pressure, wobbly kick. They're telling everybody to get away from it. The Aggies will fall on it. That was our Keith Brown as it hit about the 49. He fell on it, and then he started rolling south. And they will mark it officially at the 48, the Aggie 48-yard line. That was a 34-yard kick. OSU undefeated, Missouri undefeated, the Aggies undefeated. We're trying to stay that way, but tied here at seven. Offset eye in the backfield. McGee under center, going to run the option. Here is Lane. Now he's going to throw the pass. Hauls off and throws it. He's got a man on the sideline. They're looking back. All kinds of flags will go down. Tackled him. And it will be defensive pass interference on Chad Schrader. One, two uh, flags. He had a chance at that. He really had a chance at it if they don't knock him down. And Javorski Lane let fly on that one. It went incomplete down around the five-yard line. Javorski's got a good arm. Does he ever? He threw, he threw that ball a long way. So it'll be defensive pass interference against Louisiana Tech. That's their That's second third. penalty. That'll move the ball across midfield and inside the 40-yard line to the Tech 37-yard line. 7.49, first half tied at 7. First down and 10, Texas A&M hash left. Offset I, and it's a draw. It goes to Goodson, stutter steps, gets it across the 30s to about the 29-yard line. That was a first and 10 that will leave the Aggies shy of a first down by three. Got seven on that carry. Here on this side is Pierre Brown. I formation. There it goes to Lane. Little jump out to the right side. Got a man with him. He's fighting for a first down. He's going to be shy. Didn't quite get the 27-yard line. He needs that point. They got him shy of the 27. That'll bring up a third down and short for Texas A&M. Riley lines up off the right hip of tight end Martellus Spinett. Need a yard. There's the handoff. Lane got, got it. He's got a lot more than the first down that he needed for that yard. He's across the 25 to the 22. That's what I was talking about. He's square to the line, and when they have to take him on, square to the line, he's so hard to bring down. He hit the first man, bounced off of him. He takes it all the way down to the 22-yard line where the Aggies will pick up the first down. Tom, what do you got down there? I've got John Kimbrough, the grandson of Jaron John Kimbrough. He was just introduced to the Aggie fans on 12th Man TV. To have the Kimbrough name and to be named John Kimbrough, that's got to mean an awful lot to you. Yes, sir. It uh, sure is an awful lot to live up to, but uh, my grandfather was a great man who just lived a really humble life, and uh, it truly means a lot to be able to Stay with us here right after this play. Play action by McGee, a little backside. Now front side pressure, throws it incomplete, skips it into the turf at about the 15, about the 15-yard uh, line. Alexander and Martellus Bennett were close. Neither had a chance, and back down to Tom. We lost your uh, granddad this uh, past summer. I guess you, you got to know him very, very well in your youth and even as you became an adult. Yes, sir, I sure did. Uh, he just portrayed a lot of his family values onto me and uh, just helping me to make sure that things didn't go to my head and stayed a humble life. We've got a great grandson here that's asleep on your shoulder. What's his name? That'll be John Augustus Kimbrough. We call him Gus. Oh, wait. He's going to know lots of tales of his granddad, of his great granddad. Yes, sir, that he will. All right. Thanks for being here. This is John Kimbrough, grandson of Jar and John Kimbrough. Dave, back to you. Second down and 10 for the Aggies at the Tech 22 in the shotgun. McGee looks things over, throwing. Here's a man at Schrader, 10, 5. Did he get in? I don't think so. Hey, a mark it inside the one, and Dave. About the one-yard line. Wow. Oh, <laughs> a cannon. Up. Premature. Yeah, there we go. And he just barely, well, it looks like they called him now, stepped out at the two at the and a two. half. All right, it is a first and goal. The Aggies at the Tech two. The I formation, two tights. The flanker way out to the right side on the ground. It's Lane, and he's not going to get there. About the one-yard line. He is inside the one, shy of the goal. That was the first catch of the night for Schrader. It's a second and goal inside the one. There and they're going to take a timeout, Dave. Timeout for Louisiana Tech. So they'll go to the far sideline and talk things over. And I noticed that uh, Kotzer is in there with the uh, Joey Thomas number 81 on. Uh, he'll be subbing for him in the short yardage offense at the uh, right end position. And Clark is the tackle on the left side. Martellus Bennett. Oh, there is a handoff to uh, Javorski, and he got hit in the backfield, and the man that wrapped him up was Josh Muse, a junior from Louisiana. That will be his fifth solo tackle of the year. Dropped back at the five. So now it's third and goal at the five. And we check LaTydrick Riley into the lineup. Coming to the sideline is Chad Schrader. 
The Aggies come out and they show that power formation. Alexander followed by Lane. Latidrick Riley goes in motion. Play action. Here is a throw, and that is a catch, and that's Alexander, and that's a touchdown. Nice play action fake, and Alexander carried it out and out into the flat. Nice throw by Stephen McGee. Hit Alexander as he backed into the end zone, and a touchdown for the Aggies to take the lead. 13-7. We have 429 left in the half, and the extra point to come. First lead of the night for Texas A&M. That's a five-yard pass on the touchdown to Chris Alexander. That's his first touchdown of the season. And now the extra point by Lane Newman. Extra point is up, and it is good. Aggies now up by a touchdown. It is 14 to 7. All right, Tom, thanks a lot. Aggies about ready to kick off here. As soon as he kicks it, the clock will start from the 429 mark. Zemanski again. And this is another good one. It's going to go back, and it's way back near that in line, and they'll take the knee and bring it out to the 20. How about that one? Nice little kick there. So Louisiana Tech will get it first down and 10 at their own 20. They'll have 422 with which to work. First down and 10, Tech. Let's see if the Aggies can get it back in a hurry. There's still some time here to work with. If you can get the ball back, three and out. Maybe even a turnover. They go on the ground. Oh, good hole, 30, out to the 35, 36-yard line. Oh, a little scamper there by Jackson, and he got about 16 yards. It'll be first down and 10, Tech, all the way out to the 36-yard line. He rushed 23 times, 116 yards against Nichols State. Tonight, Jackson's 11 carries, 56 yards. He got it again, and he's going to get about four as they spill him out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Pick up a four. That was a first and ten at their own 36. It'll be second and six from their 40. Clock stops, 346 until halftime. Aggies lead for the first time tonight, 14 to 7. They are about to run their 33rd play of the game. They have 120 yards of total offense. They're in a shotgun at their own 40. They need their 46 for a first down. It goes on the ground again to Jackson. And he is upended. Somebody had him up around the collar. That was Danny Gore. And then also Amos Bumbley will join in. And he did not get the first down. He got it out to the 43. Their third down and three when they come back to the line of scrimmage. Time now, 328. Need a stop right here. They have their two of nine on their third downs tonight. Clock's going to go under three on this play. They put a man in motion going back toward the middle of the field. Champion drops back. He is going to throw it, and it is incomplete. That was Jackson out of the backfield. He goes rolling across as Devin Gregg got close, and the two will make sure, at least Gregg does, that it goes incomplete. Oh, this is almost an interception, Dave. Great coverage by Devin Gregg on the back out of the backfield. He steps in front yeah, and close. almost pulls this one down and nothing but green between him and the goal line. Uh, but a penalty on the Aggies. Roughing the passer. So they stay alive here. They're playing for a halftime tie. The Aggies lead 14 to seven. Under center champion. Play action champion, rolling left, has a time he does. He throws and it's a catch near the Aggie 35 yard line, stepped out of bounds as soon as he caught the ball. And a flag goes down Should over there. be, they shoved, this will be un, I think unnecessary roughness against Louisiana Tech. They certainly shoved one of the Aggies late after the play. Yeah, maybe you better quit talking. Second down, ball at midfield. They've got to get to the Aggie 32, second and 18 after the penalty following the pass completion. Going to spread outside, caught behind the line, back at the 49-yard line, wrapped up by Chris Harrington is Patrick Jackson. It is now third down 19. They're at their 49. They need the Aggie 32. Shotgun for champion. Slot left, flanker right. Puts a running back out into the formation. Steps up. He's under pressure. He throws. It's a catch. Bounces off one man. Ran into his own man and goes down back at the 46-yard line. Caught that at about the 42, which was going to leave him shy of a first down by about 10. And then like a pinball, he started going north, and they finally knocked him down at the Aggie 46-yard line. They want to save those timeouts, and they'll have uh, about a minute left after this punt. This for uh, Tech will be their sixth kick. Uh, Make it seven. Ball will hit. Oh, it's going to get another nice roll. They just killed it at the two. 
That's the second time they have killed one at the two yard line tonight. This guy's deadly. That's a 43 yard kick. It got a kick, it was backspin on it, and they will kill it at about the two and a half yard line. McGee takes the snap. He will quarterback keep, gets it out to the five yard line, line of scrimmage, about the three. So now it's going to be a second down and eight. It looks like Louisiana Tech will go ahead and let the clock run. It's exactly what will happen. It's 14 to seven at the intermission tonight. Texas A&M's got the lead over Louisiana Tech. Tanner Rawson, who is our equestrian coach, will be first up for our State Farm halftime show. The halftime presentation is brought to you by your Texas Ford dealers. Ford is the best in Texas. Texas A&M 14, Louisiana Tech 7. We're at halftime at Kyle Field. First down and 10. Empty in the backfield now for Stephen McGee. Three to the left and two to the right on receivers. He throws, and that's a catch, and that's Latidrick again. Across the 35, about the 36. He got eight on that one. It'll be second down and two. Marquise McBeth, junior transfer from Mississippi, made the stop, but not before the Aggies pick up eight. That'll be the fourth catch of the night, and over 40 yards in receiving for Latidrick Riley. Caught four for 43, second and two, eye formation behind the Aggie quarterback, Stephen McGee. As his snap starts to roll, stops, going to set up and throw under pressure, got a man wide open, and he's going to be a catch, breaks! 20, touchdown! Wow! Boy, oh boy, they bid on something. Play action fake, Dave. 64 yards. Play action fake in a, in a, a post pattern by Kerry Franks, and there wasn't anybody within 15 yards of Kerry Franks. Perfectly thrown, and it's taken the Aggies two plays to get the touchdown, the first touchdown here of the second half, and take the lead 20 to 7. Big play for the Aggies. He faked the, uh, he faked the option and then dropped back. I think they took advantage of that pursuit where, where Louisiana Tech has been chasing the option and nobody covered Kerry Franks. Beautiful play. Nice adjustment at halftime. <laughs> Dave dealing an understatement. <laughs> Here's the extra point up and good by <laughs> Lane Newman. I love that adjustment. <laughs> I did too. Boy, oh boy. Newman just made good on it. And man, that was quick. Let me check here on uh, Kerry. Got to flip the board. I didn't even have time to change my board. That's his first touchdown of the season, and it's his third career touchdown for Kerry Franks. Okay, what? That's a crying shame. <laughs> Here's a kickoff. AM. And it's short at about the seven. The return starts to the right side. The Aggies are getting there, and they've got him around the ankle. They drop him from 19. One of the upbacks came up and took that thing, Chris Riser. And that goes about 12 on the kickoff return. So they've got it now at their own 19-yard line with 13.36 to go in the third quarter. And the Aggies leading 21-7. Two plays, 72 yards. Franks caught it, went 64 on the pass from McGee. McGee now throwing the ball, Dave Elmendorf, 10 for 15, 157 in yards. Well, 64-yarder will help your stats every time. <laughs> Came into the game tonight with about a 69% uh, completion percentage. Out of the shotgun, play action by Champion. He throws, it's a catch at the 22. He's out to the 25, 26, 30, down the sideline. He ran out of bounds, pushed into the sideline at the 33. First down catch, and that will go to Newman. Warren came into the game tonight with 23 total tackles. Melvin at 14. First down, they're on 33 on the ground. Jackson sprinting out to the right side. Across the 35, he goes to the 39-yard line. About a six-yard pickup. They will face a second down and four. Will Louisiana Tech time 12-57, third quarter. Aggies lead 21-7. Tech with their first possession. Second down play. They need four. They're at their 39. Ashmark right side. Jackson way back there lined up. Line of scrimmage the 39. He's lined up at the 31. And he just got the ball. And the Aggies are on him around the ankles and bringing him down will be Bryce Reed. Did not get a first down. He got it right back to about the line of scrimmage. Now he got a yard to the 40. Third down at their 40. 
11.49 to go in the third. The Aggies lead 21 to 7. Need a third down stop here. Out of the eye, champion. Backside pressure. He throws and it almost intercepted by Texas AM. R. Keith Brown. Went high in the air, right through his hands. He was slammed, was champion as he let go of the ball. And I mean knocked down hard. Melvin Bullen Melvin came Bullen. with a safety blitz, and boy, he got there right about the time Champion was letting it go, and it sailed on him. They punted seven times, 34-9 on the average. In, uh, now uh, they, that was a, the center kind of double-clutched the, the snap, it and it'll cost them five. It'll back them up from the 40 back to their 35, if it indeed it is. That's a legal procedure. Offense, like number called. 52. It's a five-yard penalty. It remains fourth down. Don't know if he's on the punt with uh, kick teams or not. Here we go. Then move back to the 35. Schrader has moved up to the 30. Aggie into the field. Tagles kick, calling for a fair catch on the run. He catches it at the 37-yard line. That'll go 28 yards, and the Aggies have it. First down and 10 at their own 37. We have 11.31 to go. We are playing in the third quarter, and the Aggies leading 21 to 7 tonight over Louisiana Tech early third. First down and 10 at their own 37-yard line on I formation behind McGee. Starts the option, stops, wants to throw, looking. He does to this side at the 40. It's a catch. Was that Martellus? Yes. He just got turned from a, <laughs> for a somersault into the sideline at the 43. Won't be a lot of people handle him like that, but Quinn Harris is a 6'3 linebacker, and he just flipped him. He'll get some <laughs> ribbing about that in the film room, I promise you that. Here's second down on about four. The Ags now at the 43-yard line and uh, on a draw. Just gave it to, uh, is it Goodson? Goodson yes. will get out to a first down at the 47-yard line. A little bit more than that. First down and 10. The Aggies across the 45 to the 47 with Goodson. First down and 10, Texas A&M. There he have Moved the ball out close to their 48. Play action by McGee. Rolls left. Stops. He's going to have a throw back to this side. And there is Alexander. And uh, he there's is going to a flag. Yep. Defensive pass interference. He was coming back to get the ball. And the defender went through him trying to knock it down. Mark Dillard apparently is the guy that will be called on the infraction. Uh, Dave, the Aggies are getting real creative about their uh, their passing game. They're going with a lot of play action, a lot of throwbacks, and this one's a throwback to Alexander. Uh, nobody there to cover him. Uh, the defender trying to catch up and ran right over him as the ball arrived. So this will be a, a penalty against Louisiana Tech and move it into Tech territory. Well, they're talking. Flag stays down at the 29-yard line. Here's Randy Crystal. Pass interference. Defense. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Keandra Smith's in the lineup now for AM. Also, Cody Byers out there, empty in the backfield. Slot to the right, tight end left, and two flankers to the left side of the formation. That's open over there. There's the snap. Steps up, throws, a catch. It's incomplete. In and out of the hands of Martellus Bennett. Break the huddle and come to the line again. Alone in the backfield will be Stephen McGee. Martellus now is a slot man on the right. To his right is Morrow. We got three on the other side, including Pierre Brown and Kerry Franks. They'll throw, and that's over the head of Morrow. Morrow had never looked back. That goes incomplete at the 25 yard line. And they had uh, Martellus Bennett in that direction. So that was a second down 10. Now third down and 10. Quinn Harris defensively that time for Louisiana Tech. Here's the third down play. The Aggies three of seven on their third down efficiency. Has his snap. He was out of the shotgun. Steps up. He can run if he wants to. And he does. He's going into the sideline across the 25 at the 23-yard line for an Aggie first down. It was wide open. And he just took off for 19 yards. A&M is about to run, according to this, their 35th play of the season of the uh, game. In motion, the Tyler Riley goes right to left, and it's a uh, draw, and that is read well by Louisiana Tech. We just got dropped back at the 28 on a handoff to Goodson. Ben McGilton, a junior transfer from Mississippi, who had four tackles in their nickel state game, made that stop. On that draw play. Franks, Morrow. Keandra Smith go wide to the left side. Here on the right side is Martellus Bennett and Howard Morrow. Morrow will step up, be a split in. Martellus is a flanker. Empty in the backfield, McGee. Wallace has snapped it. He drops back. They They got pressure coming, and they are going to throw, and it goes incomplete.